Hi fellow Mega Veins, long time no see. Um, today I thought I'd do, well I want to do a little bit of filming today, um, but I've got housework to do, that's what I've been doing for the past couple of days. And being very busy at work so that's why I haven't made videos, so I really apologise for that. I do have a few little things to show you but not a lot. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've done. Now over the last four days I've had a total clean out of my makeup room. So two huge black bags of rubbish have gone out. You know what I'm terrible for is sometimes I think, oh, I don't know what to do with this. Do I want to keep it? I'm not sure. And I shove it in a drawer. Terrible thing and under the desk. And so I've had a total clear out. I've got rid of a lot of stuff. I've got a lot of stuff that's going to go onto my new website, which is where I'm going to sell my makeup. Um, I'm not going to put a link in the damn bar just yet. If you are a liker of me on Facebook, you will have already seen it. It's in construction at the moment, so I'm not completed it. I haven't got photos of all the products, but I will be sorting that out soon. So I have everything organised, ready to go on there now. But I feel like I've been able to do that now I've done this room. So basically I've organised a lot, I've got rid of a lot of stuff. <laughs> and I've moved the furniture, surprise, surprise, you know me, I love moving furniture. It's one of my things, I do it a lot. <laughs> so, I'm going to give you a little tour and I'm just, even now just straightening things. I absolutely love it. I'm going to put some footage at the end of it at night as well, it looks so pretty with the lights on and things. And Alec was like, oh you've got three lights, that's too much, It was. it's not, it looks pretty. So um, I might fine tune a few things I add. I'm thinking about getting a roller blind because on a morning when the sun's coming through it's very bright. I am turning the mirror so I'm okay to do my makeup but I prefer to have a roller blind so I think that's something I'm going to invest in. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. So we have a window over here which I'm going to show you in a second and under that window wall wall <laughs> were the drawers that I have. So th now this is how it looks. So turn you around. Okay, so this is actually a room, well th there was a wall here once but I actually took it down because there's no window on the landing. So this wall was removed, you can see like here. Yeah. So um, this is a supporting beam. And um, the wall itself was just plasterboard so I think it had actually been opened once upon a time and then somebody had closed it up. They called it a bedroom but who can call it a bedroom when it's en route to the bathroom? So. Yeah, we have like a little rail here. Um, we're not sure what to do because obviously there's a step up to this floor But I suggested putting a rail. I think it looks nice. So over here on the other side of the rail That's where I keep my perfumes. I'm sure I've shown you this before um, I've got a mirror. I've got all my perfume samples. I've got a rack behind there that's full of my perfumes I don't have loads. I've got some books there that I got um, at a car boot sale. They're actually like vanity printing. Somebody's had those printed so um not one of a kind, but probably very rare. And then this is my Harajuku storage and my Clarisonics on the top there. Um, so the original ones are on the top. And then I've got the limited edition ones. I'm only missing a couple, which I will get on eBay at some point. But I got this at a um, car boot fair for, I think it was two pounds and it was wood. So we painted it white and painted the back purple. It matches my room, because my makeup room is purple on the wall. And I love it, it's perfect for my Harajukus. I call it Harajuku Hotel. Because I'm sad like that. So here, Gem, because I'm a huge Gem fan, that just kind of hides that wire and she's the glitter and gold Gem. I absolutely love her. So here is the desk. Now this doesn't look much different. Um, I love this. I don't know if I showed you this. This is the rack that I got at Asda and I basically got my Smashbox Full Exposure, my Chocolate Bar by Too Faced, my Nudie Tude by The Balm, then my Naked 3 palettes, um, one, two, my Naked Palettes 1, 2 and 3 and my Naked Basics. So this is like a naked sort of um, letter rack. I was going to say a letter rack but it's kind of like a little storage thing with all my Naked Palettes in. Then you will have seen my desk. I've got this little coast I've had forever. These are all my Rihanna products and this lovely little thing. Most of these little jars and trinket things. Um, this one was, I think that was Wilkinson's but this is Charity Shop. These are Charity Shop. That's Charity Shop. Most of my storage is Charity Shop. The mirror was a huge bargain. It's a 70s mirror. Um, it was £1.50. It's huge. And that's also a Charity Shop. Um, and then you've pretty much seen this. So you've got your Urban Decay on the top and then I've got all my MAC lipsticks housed in the middle and then this grey box here that is my pigments, glosses on the bottom and then some random palettes on the other side. And then I just stand my mirror in front of there. And then here I've got um, some more sort of storage things. This is actually an old Nutella pot. 
The small Nutella jars are actually glasses, so you can wash them out afterwards and use them as glasses. This is just where mascara is. Got some random eye things here, then that's all my blue stuff in that blue container at the back. This little drawer set, this is from Store 21. Um, mascaras and eye products. This is the most used drawer, this is eye primers. I've got my gel liners in here, my brow gel. Um, permanent taupe by Maybelline because that's my most used colour tattoo. Got my little Sin pencil from Urban Decay in there. And then in the bottom, lots of eye pencils. <laughs> the kind of don't fit anywhere else. And then this is something I got from Sainsbury's. These are all my unusual lipsticks or dark lipsticks. So I've got my blacks, got my punk couture in here. Got this um, velvet lip one from Topshop and Raven, which is black. So that's all sort of kind of very unique sort of dark colors. And then you would have seen the rest of this. Um, my setup with my sugar pill. Got my Benefit and some Mac in there. And then I've got this. These shelves are from Ikea. Very affordable and fantastic for space saving ideas. And then you've seen everything from here. My favorite Mac lipsticks. I'm going to do a video on these because I was requested. Um, palettes on the top. My Storybook palettes and my Sigma Creme de Couture. And then this is new. <clears throat> this was for sale. I think it was around £5.40 something silly. And it was from Store 21. And I really like it. It's got this nice drawer. And in there are my lip liners and a couple of glosses and Illamasqua pigments. Then these are my go-to sort of products that I use a lot. But I forget to if they're in a drawer because they're quite small. So I've got my MAC Tender Tone. My Illamasqua Seal and Gel, Strobe Cream by MAC, that's a sample I'm trying to use. I've got a sharpener, my Lustre Drops, which I mix with foundation, my MAC Lip Arrays, um, my Real Techniques. This is a Kabuki, but I use it for contouring because if I can get it to open, it's difficult with one hand. You can flatten it out, which is perfect to contour. And then I've got this by Illamasqua, which is heroin. It's an eyeshadow but it's perfect for contouring and then I've just got a little benefit brush which is great for contouring as well. On the top we've got my lip products so Urban Decay lip products there and then these are my sleek matte me's and I've got two apocalypse in there. In the middle I've got my tiny pair of lip glosses, my lip brush, my favourite lip liner, um, a black lip gloss um, from Topshop. One of my favourite glosses, it actually goes on perfectly opaque this colour, I don't actually use anything under it. This is by Jerly, and I got that from Amelia. From Amelia R Makeup Back. Got my two new gosh lipsticks in there. And then these are all my Revlon balms. Um, I recently picked up Elusive, which is the one I have on today, which is a matte one. And then I actually got two of the shiny ones. Um, Sorry about that, that was the postman putting a letter through the door. They call it absolutely postal. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Right, so over here, next to the desk, I've actually got an empty glossy box back here to stand the mirror on. This is my number seven mirror. Um, it lights up and it's magnified on one side and normal on the other. I love this mirror. So I've got that there. And then I've got these two e.l.f. brush holders. I'll just shift these things up the front. So I've got these two e.l.f. brush holders here. And I've got them stacked like this so that one is actually higher than the other. So my Real Techniques face brush has got them in the orange, the pink, and the white ones at the end. Sorry, I wasn't even looking there. And then the purple ones are here. And then I've got a mixture in the middle. And then these are my MAC brushes on this end. And then on top of there, I keep my little twirly thing, which is actually a stationary thing. This is from Tesco. It was only a couple of pounds. It's one of the best purchases ever. Um, I've got my little MAC spray bottle here. That's um, brush cleaner, which I use for spot cleaning. Then I've got strobe lotion, Fix Plus, which as you can see is very used, quite low down. Um, I've got body oil from uh, Hey Sailor Collection, I think. This is eye makeup remover. And then in the middle is Cleanse Off Oil. So they stand on there. And then next to them, I just stand this little white container. This is from WH Smith. In here I've got a fan because I do use water during my makeup routine. So I like to just fan my face off to help it dry quicker. I've got this which I mix with pigments to make cream shadows. I've got Urban Decay All Night, a face setting spray. Um, anyway Pro Base Fix and Mist. And I've got my... Um, to Chiclet in there as well and that stands on there and then this you've seen before this is my makeup storage got my lashes and things on the top um then foundations and stuff and then just makeup storage all the way down so that's just excess stuff i've got a picture frame there that i'm going to actually be putting different stuff in these are actually pictures i drew myself but i'm actually going to um yeah take them out and then i've just got this which came out of a drawer 
I don't want to throw it away, I'm going to use it, so I've just popped it down there and I stand my camera down there as well because it's out of the way, it can't be knocked. And yeah, it's quite a nice little storage place. Now over here, on the windowsill, I've got my makeup books that I use to write stuff in. I've got this that came off the top of a jewellery stand that broke, um, but it was too nice to throw away. A couple of empty glossy boxes, just to heighten those up really. Got this picture that I got from a charity shop. Um, I'm assuming this is one of a kind. It's actually signed and it looks like it's, it's you, know, you can actually feel that it is hand painted. Um, <laughs> creep some people out. Little girl standing in the corner. She's got one sock and shoe on. I think she's having a paddy because she's got her best socks and shoes on. But I love this picture. And then on the windowsill, I've got my collection glosses. Um, I just absolutely love these glosses. And then in here are scissors, there's a pen, and then a lot of eyelash curlers. And then I've got this container here. This is my morning skincare routine after I've washed my face. I clarify with the Clinique Clarifying Lotion 2. And then I spray it on the La Roche Posay Thermal Spring Water and then I put on the Effaclar. And then I've got my morgue sign up here because I thought that was quite funny because in the morgue they um, put dead bodies back together and stuff like that so I just thought it was quite amusing. That's my dark sense of humour. And then I've got this basket here on the windowsill and it's just got my baby baths in here, um, my baby washers that I use because these are the old ones. They don't actually make this one with this um, scent anymore, they changed the scent which is the most terrible thing ever because oh, it smells divine, it used to smell divine, no longer does. I've um, got my Dermalogica in here, I've got my Bioderma um, body wash and shower gel and then I've got a uh, Soap and Glory Whipped Clean. I've got an empty container over there, I just like it. <laughs> and then I've got my Sweet Valley High books stacked in the corner. And then over here, you will remember this IKEA unit, it used to be on the other side of the room. Nothing's changed in there at all, um, but I did get a baby bootcase to go on top. Oh, I forgot to show you on top of here. I've got these two, um, I think they're actually originals, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, I got them from an art shop a long time ago, so I've got those two pictures there. And they're just a collection of little teddies and some tins, because I collect tins. So we'll start at the top of this one. I've got two Marilyn Monroe pictures up there which I absolutely love. Um, I've got a mirror on the end there. It's a bit of a novelty type of mirror. And then I've got this mask with beads on. This was actually around £15. It was quite expensive but we got this when we saw the Lady Boys of Bangkok. Um, absolutely beautiful. It's got a hairband on it. It just looks amazing on. Uh, it's got feathers on the top so I love that. And I've got a clock up there. Then I've just got some random little containers to put, um, this is to put a candle in, I haven't put one in yet. I've got my nose wires in here, so I don't lose them. Just a little trinket pot. Another one of those little glasses that I got, it's got a candle in. And then this cup, which I just love the pattern of, which is up there. Right, so on the top I've got these glossy boxes, silver glossy boxes. And in this one, this is all just hair stuff. Um, some of it's from glossy boxes, some of it's not. I mean the mythic oil, which I absolutely rave about. Um, but I've been trying this new colour Ultima, well no, Essence Ultima, and it's the colour range. So I've been trying that out and I'm absolutely loving it. I've got a fresh root spray there, back there, that I just got. My number seven hair protecting spritz, which I love. Dry shampoo, which I've got to have. My coconut oil. My new Umberto Giannini, um, which I need to try out. So random hair products in there. Um, then in the middle, I've got this box my mum gave me. It's just so pretty, the picture inside, so I didn't want to throw that one away. And then here, I've got my um, coconut body mist and my Satsuma body mist, my three oils. I've got Satsuma, coconut butter, coconut, and sorry, cocoa butter. Then I've got my two Roger, Roger Gallet oils. And then I've got a Satsuma perfume, a tea rose, very old body shop oil, a lovely little green perfume bottle. And then this, which is a very, very old perfume bottle. This was actually um, my Nana's. It says Aquamanda. I haven't opened it for many, many years, but I always remember my Nana having this on a dressing table. When she passed away, I took that. Um, yeah, so I like that. And then here, um, these are just random products to be honest. I've got my Lush sort of, these are the like silky tights I think they're called. You like rub them on your legs and it's kind of like a massage bar kind of gloss. Got my Garnier, my Keller Water, my number five Chanel body 
Chanel number no. 5 Pony Lotion even facial spritz this is the Paul Mitchell moisture which is for face and hair gorgeous I would definitely repurchase that got my Angelique facial spritz in there I do love facial spritzes and then just some random bits and bobs in the back of there there's another body shop oil a foot oil and then this new thing that I got from Superdrug which is I love to feel velvety soft skin which is a bath and body oil so that's there so that's shelf number one and then coming down onto the next shelf I've actually um this is a deep shelf and I've actually put this shelf divider in from Ikea because I think it helps me utilize the space a lot better so over here I've got two glossy boxes I've got a lot of small samples and sachets in this one and then my crosses all my cross necklaces are in here underneath is a Lisa cup and my Jerlic rose face mist which is just gorgeous then on top, I know some people find this quite freaky. She reminds me of Princess Leia with the buns on the side. But I actually really like this. I think it's really pretty. And then I've got um, a little Chanel number no. 5. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's a bath oil. And then I've got two little glass penguins from charity shops. These little are actually quite heavy. These little dice. These were from Christmas crackers. I don't know why I keep them. I just thought they were quite pretty. Then I've got a number Chanel. Chanel. I said it again. A Chanel number no. 5 body lotion and a bath oil. These my mum gave me. She got them off my dad but she doesn't really like using that kind of product so she gave them to me. I've got the chocolate bar box back here and then I've got a ring holder and I've got my Arwen pendant from Lord of the Rings hanging on that. I've got this little cream container which I got from Sainsbury's and in there, very boring stuff, it's just stuff, um, wires for my camera um, and to connect them to my laptop so nothing interesting in there really. I've got a, a like handheld mirror back here and then back there I've got my clarifying lotion by Clinique and I just top up the small bottle from there and then I've got two Soap and Glory mists, I've got Glam a lot and Girl Ago, I don't like the other one um, which I think is the original one and I've got just got this little trinket box here. This is uh, another glossy box full of single eyeshadows. Well not full, half full. Um, that's all my single eyeshadow collection. I don't have a lot. Um, I don't tend to reach for them a lot. Then I've got my day, my night creams. This is what I was using at night until I got my La Roche-Posay. So I've just brought them out here and put them on here. I will use them but I'm just not using them at the moment so I've just kind of shoved them on there. Then on the bottom, I'm just going to move this out of the way for now, I've got my two cream drawer units with the hearts on, they've got a bit of makeup in. There's an old Jolie box back there which is really pretty. This um, candle stand that Alec got me and the Frankenstein and his bride that Alec got me as well. So, so that's what that looks like. I love how it looks. I know it kind of looks a bit close, it's got a lot on it really, but I really love the look. So. On here we've also got a lamp from Ikea. This was quite expensive, it was £25 I think. Um, but I absolutely love this lamp. Um, basically I wanted a desk but it was 110 and we actually kind of compromised in that I actually decided to get an older desk which is how I ended up with this one. Which is a very old desk. And that was only £40 so we got a pricier lamp. Which I absolutely love. It's so pretty. And then on here I've got this little Ikea sort of candy dish, it's just standing on a little um, cup placemat. What? Why can't I speak today? So <laughs> it's just standing on a, a mat, a, a ceramic sort of cup mat with roses on. This has just got some random little perfume things in. I just got a new um, sample of the Fantasy by Britney Spears. This is the Naughty Remix so I'm excited to smell those. Just bits of perfume things in there. Um, and then I've got my pot from Ikea, which I keep my dirty brushes in. And then I got this from a charity shop, and I keep my cotton pads in there. Again, another charity shop find. This is a little tray. I've just got rings on here. These are just like Dorothy Perkins rings. And, you know, there's nothing exciting or expensive on there, but they're just rings that I like to wear, so I keep those on there. And then I've got a little bottle of Curious, which I think is just gorgeous. And my favourite perfumes, which are Britney's Believe and Lady Gaga Fame. And then recently I thought this was lost, I came across this. This is um, the scan pictures of Tawny. So, as you can see her head and her eyes there. You can see her better here, she's kind of got her arms on her chest. You can see her little arms there. So I thought this was lost, so I was really excited um, to find it again, and I framed that up and put that on there. I've got a box which has got some palettes in here that were sent to me to review, and then I've got the new Latest in Beauty, the Glamour Beauty edit box there to review as well. Now we're going to come across the other side of the room. 
This is my nail storage unit. Um, all my models on are in the top, and then it's a bit messy in places. So this is a hi-fi that is around 18 and 20 years old. It was my mum and dad's. So they gave it to me because um, they don't really use it. They've got like a little CD player, and they tend to use like their DVD player and play it through the sound system. So. It's got a radio that doesn't work, I haven't got that set up, but it's got a CD player and then it's got a double cassette drive which is very useful for me because I have a lot of old cassettes, so that's really good and it works perfectly. And it fits perfectly on there which I was really thrilled about, I wasn't going to put it there but when I was moving things around I kind of put it on there and I thought, oh, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> and then on top just got these little drawer units, nothing in there at the moment, and then I've got a basket, this has got just a couple of tins of jewellery in it, just costume jewellery, this is large earrings, then there's smaller necklaces in the bottom, and then a basket that's got nothing in it at the moment but I'm going to be using. And then these are my drawers, I'll try and stand back in this little gap to show you. So these are very old drawers, um, they need a good clean on the front, I haven't done that yet, they just kind of got finger marks really, but they're very old. Um, so second hand they're a little bit marked up and stuff but it doesn't matter I love them this is a lamp that I got from a charity shop and the purple goes quite nicely with the walls so that's why I got that and I've got this little trinket jar and it's just got some jewellery that I had on the other day I've got a place here for cups because Alex terrible for putting them down these are not the speakers that came with the hi-fi the speakers that came with it were huge but it's not really good in this space so Alex gave me the old, these old speakers which sound amazing anyway then I've got this doll um, when my nana passed away I got some money because it was like three grandchildren we all got some money and I got this one because this doll is called Peggy and my nana was Peggy so it's sentimental and it's an Albron doll and then I've just got a vase and some fake flowers and the vase is from a charity shop then this storage unit is from store 21 and I've just got some more glassware that I got in a charity shop some baubles in that one and some old glass from the beach I love that kind of glass where it's all rounded at the edges then a charity shop pot there, this is from Sainsbury's, and then a very old soap and another charity shop thing in there. A charity shop tray, because I just love the cuteness of it, because one of them's hanging upside down. And then this is another Ikea little shelving unit, and on here I've got another Ikea light. Um, hopefully I won't blind you here. It's really pretty. And then I've got these two little bottles that say love, they're from store 21. And then on the back is my TK Max mirror. It's actually like a tray, but I stand it up. It's got a bird with bird cage with some birds in it. This is a very old mirror, very very heavy. Um, we got that from a second hand shop. And then there's the two cat pictures again. There, they're actually originals. So. Mm -hmm. And then also in here I've got this picture that Tony did for me which I love so much and you can't see because I put Wish in front of her but her tail's coming over the edge. She's beautiful. And I've got the Marilyn picture in the background there. And then I've got Wish which is just, I love this. Alec is like, why, why do you get these things? <laughs> he doesn't understand. I just, I got this from Sainsbury's and it was reduced down to £3 and I thought that was a really good deal. I think it's pretty. Then another one of these Star 21 things, I've got a picture of Tori, um, she made this little calendar for me when she was five, so I've got that there, I've got these, these are funny, I don't know why I got it, I just, it attracted me, so this is like a, a commemoration of a Pope visit, and I've got this little tray with a cat on, and then I've got a vintage Barbie one back there, and then I've got this one with a fairy on, and my second pair of glasses are in there. And then I took all my necklaces off this, because I was sick of them getting tangled up, and I'm going to put some fairy lights around this, because it's so pretty. And then I've got this very, very old tin. Sadly, it's a little bit damaged from when it was cleaned because it was just, you couldn't even see the picture on it when I first got it. Um, yeah, it's very, very old. So we've got that. And then I've got candle holders, which I got from my school. And I've got my teddy bears, which are Mr. and Mrs. This is from a charity shop. Um, a tin, I think that said Lucy because that was my first dog. And my mum and dad got the Lucy cut out of a piece of wood. Um, at a craft fair and he just gave us both pieces so I got that part it was to put on the, the actual fence in the garden because that's where she's buried and this is all my cross earrings in here and another speaker and this is just a little um, bird cage this is really really pretty this one is from store 21 and it's kind of got like bird sitting inside and then it's got the two things to put the candles in then I've got a little Yankee candle in the bottom and then this little glass bird 
And that is basically it. But now you can actually walk through. See, there's a walkway. Because before I used to sit here, so people would have to go around me, but now I sit over here and it doesn't actually come onto this part, so it's very easy to get past now. And I'll step back. I just think it looks really lovely now. I think it's like, looks really spacious. It's a really lovely room. Excuse all the marks on there, like I said, it's an old piece of furniture. And then we've got this old sewing box here, which I tend to put my work stuff on, on a morning. That's what that looks like. Yeah, and then in the drawers, because I was going to give you a quick show, I'll not show you the clothing and stuff, but the top four I totally sorted out. So in here I've got bits and bobs, but these are my cassettes back here that I still have. And then CDs that I love are in here. I'll do this very quickly. This is hair stuff, so I've got hair bands, hair clips, everything to do with hair is in here and then a few beauty products in the back. So it's very useful to have these all together now. This one's got like the hair bun things in and then just loads of these sort of hair bands, the wire ones and stuff and actual hair bands. And then in the end this is jewellery, so this is a sewing storage thing but it's got all my necklaces in and then beads and stuff at the bottom. I'm not got too much into that, it's quite messy. So, that is it. Am I in shot? Yes. <laughs> oh, look, the lighting's better now. Okay, so that's it. That is my room. I really, really love it like this. And I've got hair and it's annoying me. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I think I feel like all of a sudden I've got so much more space. I mean, all I've took out of here is like a little wooden stool thing that you can store stuff in. Um, but I have cleared under the desk massively. It's so much better. But I just think the room looks amazing now. I just, I feel like you can breathe in it. I can get to the window where I couldn't before. The window is not covered in stuff. The top isn't covered in stuff. So it just feels really light and airy. Um, yeah, I love it. And I just, all I had to do was buy a new baby bootcase to finish off over here. So, yeah, that's it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching as always. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and I'm going to love and leave you and see you all soon. Bye! So this is actually, I forgot to tell you, a stool that I got. Um, it was actually in a second hand shop. It was £15 but it had one of the covers missing on one of the buttons and I talked the gentleman down to £10. Um, and it's perfect because the chair that I had in before had a high back. It kind of felt like it kind of came into the room more whereas it doesn't feel like that does because it's low and it's got no back it's quite light it's nice and wide so it's comfortable and um, underneath my bin and the stuff that I'm going to be selling so I forgot those bits so I thought I'd add them in so this is what it looks like at night with this lamp on I actually had a little reorganization over here I put the rings here and then I have three sizes of curious and then I put my Three favourite JLOs at the back. So I like how that looks. And then over here, that's the purple lamp. And then the IKEA lamp. So that's what it looks like. And then over here, I just brought the perfumes to the front. Let me pop the light on. So the mirror is now behind, and then my perfumes are at the front. And I just moved the samples over there. So that's it. And yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how it looks, all the space. <laughs>